So, don't mind my scarf. I'm getting ready to lay down. But, um, <clears throat> anyway, I wanted to make a video really quick about a um, condition that I suffer from called dermatitalomania. I hope I said that right. Um, also known as excoriate condition. Um, basically what it is, is um, it's kind of like in the vein of body dysmorphic disorders where um, an OCD and um, not quite self mutilation, like cutting or anything like that, but um, definitely in the vein. Uh, people with this condition will pick their scabs um, and pick at their skin to the point of causing open wounds, bleeding, oozing, weeping, sores, um, as well as severe tissue damage. This is a problem that I have struggled with since I was a child. And um, entering into puberty and having acne on my face was a major problem. And that's when it really became a big deal because now instead of a scab and scar on my arm or on my leg or something like that, it's on my face. And I can't hide that. Um, so I just wanted to come and talk about that for a moment because I had a conversation with someone close to me and... I realized that a lot of people think that they're alone in having this condition and um, they think they're a weirdo they think that it's just them and I really want people to know that you're not alone if you're somebody who picks your skin to the point of scarring and tissue damage and things like that um, I, for one, thought I was alone for about the first 26 years of my life. I just thought, I don't know why I do this. And I still don't really know why I do it, but I really thought, <clears throat> excuse me, my allergies are bothering me. But I really thought that that was in something that it was just, just me by myself. So I just wanted to come and talk about it on my channel because I think that a lot of times... Um, well, I just wanted to talk about it on my channel just because it's a problem that I have. And also, that's part of the reason why I got into makeup in the first place. Because, you know, it's very personal, but it's right on your face so you can't hide it. And I got into makeup to cover my scars. Um, as you can see, right here, right here. Right here. That's my friend Tamika in the background. But I've been picking a lot lately. I've been having a lot of anxiety. And <clears throat> my picking has ticked up. So I guess that's all I really wanted to say. I, I just, you know, if you see somebody and they have bad skin, they have acne scars, they have this, they have that, um, you know, try to be understanding and, and try not to be judgmental. Or if you see somebody and, you know, they choose to wear makeup, maybe that's the only way that they can feel comfortable because it's like, without my makeup, I feel really exposed. And um, I usually would never make a video without having my face on are gonna put one on but I really wanted to show y'all like my naked face so you can see what I'm talking about with the scars get closer you can see my scars you can see the open this one hurts painful open wounds because I've been picking a lot you can see the damage I've done to myself 
over the years. Some of these are, are years old, some of these scars. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, when you see these transformations and you see a woman who, you know, without her makeup, you might think, oh my gosh, she looks so crazy. She's so ugly. Trust me. Probably we don't need you to call us ugly because a lot of times that's how we feel anyway. So, I guess that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to put that out there. If there's anybody else watching this video that has that problem you know feel free to comment feel free to message me um if you want to talk about it i'm willing to talk about it so let me know all right bye guys have a good night